Last 10 years, resident at the Good Samaritan Society, Joyce Telustus has been working on her garden. While she grows plenty of colorful flowers, it's when winter rolls around where she grows crafty. While most grow restless staying isolated during the pandemic, 87-year-old Joyce Telustus is growing flowers. It's uh, important physically and mentally and spiritually. Every day, she walks around 300 steps to her plot at the Good Samaritan Society. It's where she's become relatively well-known for her fetching foliage. I have said before, people don't know my face sometimes, but they know my butt because I'm bent over most of the time. She says that residents and strangers alike often stop by to admire her hobby. I may not know their names, but we have had interesting conversations. We have a beautiful trail and to be able to stop here, we have a bench people can sit and enjoy the flowers uh, and they can smell them. While we're in the season where flowers are dying, Telustus finds new life in her hobby. I uh, grow things that I pick and dry for my quote art unquote. She dries her flowers and uh, brings, puts them into art form and uh, brings them to the lodge and shares them in the common areas for other residents to enjoy. Even when indoors, Nearman says residents often stop by to see what new project Telustus has created. For those who don't leave their rooms, Telustus often takes the extra steps to brighten their day. Sometimes pieces that have been around, I give them to my friends on permanent loan. Hobbies keep people busy, um, keeps their mind going. It's good for their mind, body, and soul. Proving that over time, joy can really grow on you. Can't spell Joyce without joy. Now that things are cooling down, Joyce will turn most of her attention to making more art projects for the Good Samaritan Society and its residents.